Hello everyone and welcome to this week's short video tutorial on basic make game tactics. This will be the second example in section 2 of chapter 6 which will be dealing with the tactic of blocking. Uh, this is a very nice example in my humble opinion and I hope you will enjoy it as much as I, as I did. So uh, this example is based on the free ebook that is available on the World Science Federation website. A quick analysis of the board would show that Red would have two chariots and two cannons as his major pieces. The cannons are already placed in the heaven and earth cannons uh, formation. Black would have similar, similar material with one horse, one cannon and two chariots. Red would have three pawns, Red would have two pawns and both colors would have a full guard. So in this example, Red would make use of discovered attacks to claim a winning position. Check. A discovered check. Now this is a very nice move. Uh, by retreating the uh, chariot to his pawn rank, Red will be delivering a check and this will allow a force uh, black to play a4 plus 5. E5 minus 3 cannot be played because of the cannon over here. And red would now capture the pawn and target the horse. But there's more than meets the eye to this move, as will be seen slightly later on. So, and black became careless with H7 plus 9, thinking that he would be able to gain uh, a chariot or even go for an elbow horse attack uh, with this move. However, Red had un uh, sorry, Black had underestimated the potential of Red's uh, tactical combination on his flank, and Black would have to pay a huge, tremendous price. Now, Red had calculated far enough, and now would now go for another check, and he will retreat. Uh, Black would be forced to retreat the the advisor. Say, and this would be the topic of discussion for this board. Red would retreat his chariot to the same rank as the black chariot. Now, this is a very good move, a brilliant move, in fact, because red would now be delivering a check and black would be prevented or be blocked from playing a 4 equals to 1 to resolve any future potential checks. Now, although it, it would appear that uh, red would not be so red would not be able to gain any material in this situation, but let's say if black decided to defend with a4 plus 5, red would now make a brilliant move of c plus equals to 8, preparing to go for the double cannon's checkmate, and red would claim victory immediately because. To resolve this checkmate, the king would have to be moved out. And red would simply go for the check, and followed by the checkmate. So, if a4 plus 5 were not possible, would it be possible for black to play, um, to retreat his elephant? After all, this would be just a trade of chariots, as black would be compensated with a chariot over here. Unfortunately, the answer will be no, because now Red will continue to use the Heaven and Earth Cannons. A check, and at this point in time, uh, Black can only move E7 plus 5. If he played A6 plus 5, this would be an immediate checkmate. But E7 plus 5 would not do uh, Red would not do Black much uh, justice because. The chariot would now capture the elephant and deliver another check. Again, the elephant, this elephant cannot capture the red chariot or the cannon will be delivering a check. The only legal move for black will be a6 plus 5, which unfortunately red will continue with r5 plus 1 to simply capture the chariot. The king cannot capture the red chariot as it is protected by the uh, red cannon and again the advisor cannot move or this cannon will be delivering a check and red will continue his massacre with r5 plus 1 and capture the black chariot as can be seen 
black will be bound to lose more material and red's uh, material advantage will be overwhelming the game will be decided here and uh, will be decided at this point in time so a short recap uh, in this spot red will make use of discovered checks to clear the path threatening to go for a checkmate over here and black underestimated the potential of red's attack a check and red would be brilliant with of r8-2 to prevent to block the chariot and also uh, allow him to go for the double cannons a4 plus 5 would only lead to a rapid demise but uh, e5 minus 3 would only prolong black's agony so a red would capture the chariot a trade of chariots but the heaven and cannon, heaven and earth cannons would now come into play again so e7 plus 5 and red would capture the black chariot through a series of checks to gain a winning position uh, i hope you've enjoyed this short video i was very ecstatic when i saw the, the moves that we were able to play after playing r8 equals to two r8 minus two so if you like the work that i've been doing and would like to support my work please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for the video thank you